I miss being on the Chesapeake River. When I was a kid, there was a river. It was in Maryland. And uh, the Chesapeake River, my, my, uh, my dad uh, used to own a boat. Uh, we actually shared, he, it was his hobby, it wasn't his thing. He, it was, uh, he shared it with uh, another guy and his, it was probably a pretty good deal when you think about it because he uh, basically got to use it uh, every other weekend when he was off. And the other guy had to take care of the boat all the rest of the week. Now, I don't know if he went out on the boat or not, well, I guess he did, but uh, it was interesting because they had this shared sort of responsibility between the two of them. And my dad got to use it once every two weeks on his day off. And um, we used to drive down there. I remember when I was about 16 years old and I had just gotten my driver's les license. I uh, invited my uh, friends to be able to come with me to go down. And then I would actually be able to be like the captain of the boat with my 16 year old friends. I wish I knew then what I know now. Stephen, <laughs> it's so wonderful to share responsibility with you because we could really trust you. Yeah, I, I'm pretty trustworthy, really. I mean, I'm young, but I'm trustworthy. Young and trustworthy. That's that's my motto. Young and trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I would trust you with nearly everything. But sorry. And that's that's why you you brought me your uh, your wife. Is that why you did that? Because you could trust me with your wife. I would trust you with my wife, but what you have done to my motorbike, this is something different. Oh. Mm. Well, you mean in a good way or a bad way? Because I thought that it it looks a lot better with all the different paints on it. The color changed. <laughs> you think it's better? Mm. It was a red Moto Guzzi. Moto Guzzi have to be red, and now it's blue. Yeah, well, you know, red is a very aggressive color, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you want only the best for me. I, I'm sure you, you scratched it, and then somehow you had to do something. Let, let's let, <laughs> let's just put it this way, okay? If, if it was scratched before, it's blue now. <laughs> blue! It was red! Blue. Blue. It was a Mucho Guzzi, it's Italian. Uh, uh, how can you make it blue? Yeah, people go like, oh, look at that, that's a Mucho Guzzi. And look at that, that one over there, it's not red, that's blue. I've never seen a blue one before. You're gonna be the toast of the town, man. Wish I had one of those. Wait, 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 wait. This sounds good. <laughs> what? This will be the only Mutu Guzzi on this planet which is blue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be unique. People will be looking at you, they're going like, oh my God, that guy is... It would be unique. It is unique. Yeah. It's a one and only, my Mutu Guzzi it's the one and only because I have a friend who is the one and only. Oh, you're calling me a one and only? That's so sweet. But your wife, you also call one and only. So I guess I'm probably two, two and only. I'd be the, the second one. Two, I'd be two, two and only. I have three and only. My wife you and my motorbike. Friendship is for most people something 
very, very special. It's, it's not about giving and taking, it's about trust. There is a person you can fully trust. You don't do this straight away. You need a long time to build that trust. But then it's everything. I have a friend from London, which I met in 1991. So soon, we are 30 years together as friends and over such a long distance. But I meet him regularly now on Zoom and we talk through the night, we have a drink together and we feel closer than ever. <laughs> Friendship makes your life beautiful. <laughs>